Uh, hey guys, Galax here. Uh, this could be like kind of a two topic, uh, one video type thing. I'll be talking about, um, depends how long this will be, um, where I moved in from both, uh, Bot Bricks or Botrix, whichever you want to call it. And then I'm going to be talking about, obviously, as you can see up here, why I'm basically moving away from, uh, Redfall, I'm not playing that piece of shit again, but like, I'll talk about that later. Um, I just want to talk about so far my day one experience, day one two experience with this platform. Talk about if I can as quickly as possible the good and the bad with it. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of like mention if it's good and then like some stuff, yeah, some stuff that good and bad as we go in. So uh, let's start off the bat. It kind of starts with a simple system. We'll go, yeah, you got your followers over here. Um, that's kind of that's kind of thing it's it's cool you got subs that's fine um again if we go by the bad already the one thing we do got gift sub that's good the one negative i would put in and i hope that the career can see this reminder uh Botrick is only made by one guy so and he only and the discord his kind of team that works with him to solve issues is like a discord moderator team so see take that what you will is either a good or a bad thing or at least like maybe more possibly you know take pity on him than that kind of thing reminds me to the three moments actually like contacted me um about like me rejecting their ads like oh re we saw that you rejected all these like um campaign ads you did for like all these mobile games you don't really care about can you please like let us know if there's any issues and whatnot, it's like, yeah, I already put it in. I don't give a shit what you put in. But, um, yeah, if it possible, if I did like a request, I did say is that if there is a TTS system, you know, text-to-speech system for these, that'd be great. I know apparently the people in the Discord, apparently they said, oh, they don't really do it, but it would still be great as an option, you know what I mean? So that would be really, really dandy. Um, yeah, we already did gift subs, uh, bits, yes, yeah, so you got bits, that's fine. Oh, fair warning, a uh, huge fair warning in terms of, uh, this, at least advice for now, and hopefully this will be fixed. Do not put in alert variants because it will break your alerts. So, unfortunately, you have to keep it as is, unfortunately. So, I mean, that's, that's, that sucks, but at least you don't have to worry about uh, variants for the time being and unfortunately yes no there's no once again there is no tts on the only tts is on let me check the only tts i know is yeah that's on like bot uh botrix but like i usually like to use default for this it's also a lot of is in um spanish i think so sorry about that um if we talked about another thing real quick is the unfortunately is um <laughs> The, um, if you want to, there is a premium feature, uh, only for two, $2.49 a month, you can pay whichever, like how it goes, um, you get a custom bot name, a premium rank of Discord, you get, you, you put your bot name in the Discord, in the custom Discord, um, you could do like a, um, 10 megabyte alert file, you could do 500 commands instead of 100 commands, you do 50 user top instead of, 15, I guess, like a ranking type system. There's 150 items in your store versus free items. I don't know about that one. Four actions per item and then two actions. Normal users don't know about that one. Sorry. You can reset points to your followers once a week. X experimental features will launch and X premium widgets. Um, on maintenance, you'll be moved to backup source. You won't have to wait for a start. Yeah, so, um, again. Um, again, fair war. I understand. I totally understand if this will piss people off that like, oh, this is a, this is like a beta. This is just starting. Like we have to pay money to access all the features. Like I totally understand that man. Like I, I totally get it. A little, little ticked off. I'm not pissed, I'm not pissed off at that, but I'm a little bit ticked off with that. Um, we go here, go with the widgets. You got a viewer counter. I, I, um, goal, I mostly don't use most of these. I only use, um, I just put in a viewer counter, 
Um, a subathon, that one, yeah, you have to use, again, the premium to that. I'm, nah, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not, I would want to use subathon, but maybe once I get big enough, then I'll do it. There's gold bits, gold donations. Um, they just, yeah, he just set up gold donations, so that's good. I was actually be not begging, I was hoping, like, oh, before I go in, I hope to the, the stream gods this guy puts in gold donations for free, and he did, so thank god. There's the chat. I actually kind of prefer this chat compared to stream elements chat, personally. Um, there's raffles. Um, I think I could do this one. Yeah, I'll definitely do this one once we hit the, um, the Bills hack goal. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, there's Channel King. You were saying it's like a channel came in to stream. That's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I hope it's not an emo combo. I, I again, I really don't know if I want to. If, if people do see this, uh, obviously I'm gonna put this on my Discord, my YouTube. If you guys want me to use any of these that I haven't used already, please let me know. Please let me know. Yeah, obviously you can pause the video real quick, check all these out, and then be like, oh, can you put this in and that in? I will definitely take your finger in consideration. There's obviously the chat bot. It's easier to do this. I put all my stuff in there. I, what is it? I, uh, I hope um, people don't get bothered with the, because I had to use Nightbot. I, this might be another negative as well. There is a song request. Yeah, there is a song request thing, but unfortunately the, the creator is, not that he's lazy. I, as far as I could tell, it's not that he's lazy. He, he works a full-time job along with doing this, so he, he hadn't he hasn't had the time yet to implement a song request system so there's that then you could you got your usual options you can name your bot you, again you have to do premium for this you got the commands you got um timers uh yeah uh, uh hopefully that's not too annoying with that one yeah this one is like um yeah that's just for twitch the good thing at least for this one hopefully and it doesn't mess up is that this can work both for uh, Twitch, and I would personally recommend this if you're using Twitch or Kick, personally. Um, yeah, then you got your profile. Then you got, um, a loyalty system. Basic confirm you read and accepted. I don't even know, like, let's see. Uh, error special to what this item is. I'm not item user. Yeah, it's like, I'm probably not going to use the store, unfortunately. There's a, there's a, there is, like, if anything we're going to use store, I would just show people my red bubble. Um, then you got your integrations. Okay, give it, give it a sec, because it's in, again, it's, uh, it's in the Spanish, there's Gilded. Yeah, prob um, I'm not sure if I would, I would use, uh, I understand it. Oh, your yeah, games. This, obviously, they took this from Kick. I would use B-Duel. But I wouldn't use these ones, because again, I'm not I'm not a gambler guy. Then finally, we got the referrals. So the way that this works is that eh, it's kind of weird. Um, if people want to use the system, I mean, if people want to do it as well, whichever. Um. <laughs> so what? How's it work? So you gotta share your link where streamers and never use bot 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 tricks. Then they sign up and then do the first broadcast. They'll verify the legitimacy. Then, if it's good, yeah, once again, it's almost like a Twitch thing. You gotta get a whole bunch of these um, to, so I guess we may only check for a C pre premium balance through. Oh yeah, too. It, they always keep like, um, it's in, I guess like this too. And I think that's, an, I, I imagine this is why they encourage the system because like, what is it? If you use this system, it'll help you basically get free premium. I think that's what how the system would work. Um, it's like for now again, I'm not really um, big enough that I would recommend this. And I would I would say like this: it's like um, if you don't like Streamlabs and kind of how scummy they are, and if you've seen what I've s talked about in regards to stream elements. And you again, you don't kind of like how their payment thing is going and whichever, then eh, just go go with bow tricks. Uh, fair warning again, fair warning once again. Um, what is it? A bow tricks uses PayPal as their system, so don't be upset if people can't use, um, they can't pay you because again, it's it's working for PayPal and. 
be forewarned, of course, that you may get, um, you know, of course, troll donations and the typical um, uh, defunct payments or chargebacks. Yeah, chargebacks, definitely. So again, fair warning. Fair warning with that. Otherwise, it, it's pretty okay. I the uh, the only major thing that I um, don't like. I do think too that that I saw in the Discord as well that people did get pissed off. One guy at least they get pissed off on the server that oh um, you can see the support or suggestions. You cannot see suggestions unless you go premium. So it's it's you have to pay to suggest stuff. You know. It's almost like a Kickstarter thing, you know? You're paying, but instead of like paying the one thing and then do the thing, you're paying monthly to suggest stuff and use um, premium quote unquote content from the service. You know, it sucks, but like I said, I'm I'm not going back to stream elements, I'm sorry, you know? Um, I still gotta figure out, I can still use song requests for Nightbot. I still need to, I did put in a, if I could, I did put a suggestion kind of request thing already if if hopefully the creator listens to it that um what is it that uh um they put in a media request of their own i mean again Streamlabs and stream elements has it why not botrix you know but again this is in beta it will get better hopefully they'll put add this guy will add more content to it so we gotta wait and see you know um and that's about it honestly if i had to give it so far maybe like a six and seven out of ten at least the alerts still work. Um, thankfully, the follow alerts works. The sub alert works. So, because like my friend Barry subbed to the thing, surfing's all good. Um, a reminder too that like we just need two more subs and then I'll get to the other thing. So yeah, while this is running in the background, I'm gonna talk about my experience with um, Redfall. Wasn't very good. Play it with my friend Razor. Um, you know, we fought. Uh, I thought I could. The first time I played this without the NVIDIA driver, oh, let me take that out of the way. The first time I tried this without the NVIDIA driver, mind you, was it was like running 30, 40 FPS, maybe 60 in some areas at, at the at the worst. Um, yeah, at, at the most. So it was like, and, and reminder, reminder, the recommended, the recommended GPU is a 1070. And I, it's like, I got a, I, I don't know how to describe it with this. It, because like the, and this is probably running on, and also too, probably this gameplay is running on like a 490 and then like a say 950 X 3D or like a, um, a 1400 um, Intel uh, CPU. But again, yeah, this is, um, man. I don't even know how to describe it. It's probably one of the... Uh, yeah, and I agree. This is probably the worst PC port I've ever I've ever played this year. Um, I played Resident Evil 4 Remake and some other Diablo 4 and then other stuff. Yeah, like, this is, uh... This is really bad. I, I it was, it was chunky as fuck. Even, even Razer, who had like a 28 Ti, was going like issues with this. Uh, people, personally for me, if you are, uh, even if you have like a playness on 4K, you should not be getting like 60, just 60, 60, 70, 80, or even 90. You should have 100 plus frames. I don't care. It should not chug this bad. And uh, like I said, I was, if you ever seen the VODs on my, on my VOD channel, it's super, super bad. Like, holy crap, man. I've never, I've never run it through. My, I, again, I got an 1800X CPU, um, a 1080 Ti. I do, I do really need to get it upgraded. I'm probably gonna, like, actually gonna try if I can. Probably gonna go, like, Team Blue. Go, like, with a, um, uh, like a, a 13900K and then go with a Arc 770 Intel, uh, GPU and then I can work on it. And then maybe like next year, um, I'll, I'll probably sell the card and then get a um, get a, try the battle mage. Hopefully, oh man! Like speaking of real quick, I hope battle mage does not get canceled. I really hope not. But anyways, back on topic. Um, yeah, it chucked it one really bad. Um, the and, and people say like, oh, uh, 
uh, it, you were streaming. It's like, the, the, of course, the frame rate and, and everything else is going to be bad. It's like, no, bro. It was running decently fine on when before the drivers put in. When I put the drivers in, it was absolutely terrible. So what's... I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like I said, I was going like maybe, the, yeah, single digits. I'll say single digits frame rate. Maybe like one to nine FPS while trying to run it, you know? And again, if people like like talk crap about my setup. Again, this is what um, either Bethesda or Arcane suggested. And again, if you check the specs yourself, it, I, I don't understand. It should run at least like minimum like maybe medium recommended settings the best i can describe it because man this game just yeah this game just fucking stinks and it doesn't help too that even if this game was like such a great port it's probably one of the most boring games i've ever played as well like um i would rather play the likes of borderlands Left for Dead. Hell, I I wish they would have just they would have just uh, ripped off the Left for Dead back for Blood formula, where instead of like being an open world, you go through certain areas in the map as it progresses, and then like you know that be it or whatever. But again, man, this is this is ridiculous. Again, this is supposed to be a triple A title from, <laughs> it's like Arcane's B team that's like in another fucking Fallout 76 situation, and oh my god, like, I'm so sorry, I, I'm, I'm almost like speechless, because this is like pathetic, you know, I feel, I feel, again, I don't know if I want to be mad at Arcane, or Bethesda, or Microsoft, you know, Xbox, I don't know, there's so many factors to put in them with this, but, but yeah, like I said, it, it, real quick again, it's still pathetic that, uh, right? Imagine, right? If I got, imagine like in the future, I somehow got like maybe a 7950X3D and a 490, you know? I should be running that shit like a hun, like, no, I've seen it actually, especially in 1080p. Some people have got, at least in the startup menu, like 200 plus, 300 plus FPS. And oh, once again, the game world, it fucking climbs down to 70, 80 FPS. That is so bullshit, man. Like, I I mean, it, it's weird too. This game looks decently optimized, right? As you can see in the gameplay, but man, when you actually play it, no, it's not. Or at least like if it is, like they're, they're lying out of their ass and they got something, something weird, man. Like this is like, oh God, I can't even like, keep going with it like i had to it, it's funny enough my friend razor was kind of like hoping i played a third time i said hey if i got a it's funny enough too another funny enough too is that um what is it what is it like it got the the intel like our gpus right it's like if you can get at least i think the eight gigabyte variant of that that's the recommended one i'd probably get high recommended um, if I got the highest end, um, Intel R card, which I would probably get. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm now kind of in the mood, like I said, to try to go full Intel if I can. Heck, I, I went for PC Part Picker. The build is the cheapest I've ever did, and hell, the, the, the RAM, the SSD, everything else is still really, really good. Um, you know, again, good luck to my bro if he has to build that, because he, he said he, not promised, not promised here, you know, but he said, oh, he'd give it a go because he's been working his butt off training in the tech field. And, you know, he built his PC and he loved doing it. So he wants to give it a go with my PC in the future. But, um, yeah, um, there's not really much I could say much about this game. I would just say for now, for the love of God, do not play it. Do not play it at all. If you, if like, I, the only thing I could say, if you can turn off your brain, and play this if it's still on game pass like for another year or so then maybe get it i would say like this it, it, not even in defense but if i if this game was like 10 20 dollars and this was like an indie studio who made this i don't think it would be this bad and not, not to mention if the performance was was good and and there was um nothing too bad or whatever but yeah again this is a 70 dollar game on steam made by 
Arcane's B team, which sucks because I still feel like their A team should have made this. But hell, I don't even think this this should have came into being. This thing should have came into concept. It's 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 just it doesn't work for me. The vampire thing is cool, but again, this just doesn't work to me as a concept. At least this one, like the open world is it's it's empty. I I, I knew too that this was empty and it was gonna be like you know, so ridiculous. Honestly, if you want, like, like I said, if you want a better open world four player co-op experience like this, or even like maybe a semi open world or one with large maps, like I said, there, uh, three to four come to mind. Like I said, there's actually, there's, I think Warhammer Dark Tide. Granted, I haven't played that, so I need to see if it goes in. Then there's Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead. Um, there's Deep Rock Galactic. Um, the other one, uh, Vermintide, I could put in for Vermintide, uh, and, 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 you know, last but not least, fucking Borderlands. Hell, I would rather play the, like, yeah, as much as I hate, um, Borderlands Free, was it, yeah, as much as I fucking hate Borderlands Free, I would play the shit out of that. I think it's on Steam, too, I can't quite remember, but yeah, I would rather play the shit out of Borderlands Free with that. There's, at least, like, as much as I hate the story, at least, like, I, I had some semblance of enjoying some of the main characters, like, uh, I just call them Flack, uh, Zane, uh, that's the only two I, I really liked in the game, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, um, in a nutshell, do not play Redfall. Do not buy it. Do not, do not, if you have Game Pass, do not even give it a second glance. Just, you know, do what you have to do. But I, I honestly, again, my closing thoughts on this real quick is play games like Hi-Fi Rush or Pentamin. Those I would recommend. And maybe definitely stay away for now. Even if you got Game Pass, like I said, stay away from even Starfield for now if anything i would i would um i know heck another random game do i don't know fucking grounded like say what you will on that game but at least like they they actually did it really really well and it's i felt like it was a decent game pass game granted i understand with some people that it was very uh what's the term it's it, it's still being updated but it was very um not many people like got it didn't get the attention that it needed basically but yeah that'll be it for now thank you everybody for watching um i'm probably gonna stream because i'm <laughs> wide awake right now uh, if you like what you saw you can sub to the channel you can donate my link trees down there you contain all my my um, paypals and all that jazz um you know again thank you everybody so much for watching and as always i will see you guys later